Hello, my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Zoe, and we are going to start working on her down. Now, what we're going to be doing today is learning her into position, but we're also going to start using that verbal cue because the goal is that I would want to give Zoe the verbal cue and she'll offer a down. So, as you can see, I got a leash just because Zoe gets very distracted very easily. Hey! Boop, 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 boop. I got some food here. I'm going to go ahead and start Zoe in a sit. Zoe, down, and then I'm going to immediately start luring her to the ground. Yes, and the second she's down, uh-uh, I'm going to go ahead and treat multiple times. Now, right there you see she popped up, so I'm waiting a couple seconds, okay, before I release that treat. We're going to try again because I'm not a fan of how she popped up like that. Zoe. And you see I'm kind of starting by luring her into a sit. Zoe. Down. You see, I'm immediately bringing her to the ground. Yes, and I'm treating multiple times, okay? And then tapping on the head to release her. That was much better. Now you can see we're using those multiple treats just to keep Zoe in position. Eventually what'll start to happen is she'll start holding that position on her own and waiting for that tap on the head. Come here. Zoe, uh-uh-uh. Come back. See, we definitely got a little explorer here. Zoe, down. Yes. Okay. Very nice. We're going to do that one more time. Hey. Zoe, down. Yes. Okay. And that was an excellent job from Zoe. You can see she's really starting to pick up the down command. Now, of course, we're still working on that verbal cue, and the next step would be to really get it on a verbal, but you can see I'm just saying the cue, waiting a couple seconds, and then luring her to the ground. Overall, excellent job from Zoe today. Good job.